Today we're interviewing Anna Coleman, a recent graduate from the Department of Geological and Mining Engineering and Sciences. Anna, thanks for coming back to see us. We love to have you. How are you? I'm great. It's great to be back. Good, good, good. So you left us in December. You had a degree, a master's degree in geology. So what are you doing now? <coughs> What's going on in your life? Well, I got a job uh, as a geologist, which is amazing in this economy, mm -hmm. <laughs> working for a geothermal energy exploration company. And where is that located? Out in California. In California? In Santa Rosa, California. Great. Yeah. So what does that mean? What are you doing for them? What are you, tell me a little bit about your job. Sure. You mm -hmm. Sure. Well, um, I am working as a geologist, so about a third of my time um, working with geologic data. So looking at maps and satellite imagery and Google Earth and geochemical data and geophysical data and integrating all of that information. Um, and doing resource assessments to try and figure out where geothermal resources might be located. Ah. How big they are, what kind they are. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. Great, um, great. So the other part of my time there is, you know, devoted to the normal job duties, writing reports and office work. Is it a nine to five job? Yeah, you? pretty well it's it's it suits my personality really well because sometimes it's really intense and you're in the field for a month at a time. Okay. Or sometimes you're in the office nine to five. It just kinda depends. So on, on when you're in the field nine to five or when you're when you have your intense assignments in the field, where are you usually are you right there in California or are you traveling? Well um I haven't gone into the field in California yet. Mm -hmm. Usually we're traveling abroad. So we're doing work all over the world. Right now we have a, we have projects in southern Chile mm -hmm. and we're going to start working in northern Chile and in Peru and maybe even expanding to Indonesia and Turkey. Wow. So it's really, really dynamic environment. Um, working with some really talented, experienced um, senior geologists. Great. How did you fall into this job? Did someone clue you into it or were you recommended for it? Yeah, well, um... <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> okay. Actually, contacts, you know, that's, okay. that seems to be... Were they contacts key. from Michigan Tech or from So your... my advisor, Dr. Bill Rose, okay. I went to Dartmouth, and my current boss also went to Dartmouth, so it was the Dartmouth connection. Great. He ran into them, and my boss ran into Bill at a conference, and right. asked about, you know, current students that he had who needed jobs, and Bill mentioned my name. Wonderful. It, you know, all took off from there. Good, good. Yeah. So you actually got your bachelor's degree from what university? I went to Wesleyan University for a Bachelor of Arts. Okay, so why did you choose Michigan Tech? What was the draw for, for you? Sure, well, um, to be honest, it was Bill Rose. Okay. He is one of the world's best volcanologists, okay. and he was studying well, at the time, what I wanted to study was natural hazards mm -hmm. and um, remote sensing of volcanoes. Okay. And Bill's research combines that. I mean, his research is very broad, but mm -hmm. um, it sounded like he had a good thing going on mm -hmm. at Michigan Tech. So I came up for a visit and met some students and was really impressed with the collaborative environment that all the students um, participate in. Mm -hmm. That was just, that did it for me. That was the draw. That was a draw, and having Bill there, and yeah, so. Good, good. How about the classes that you took at Michigan Tech? Is there any <coughs> one specific that seemed to prepare you for what you're doing in the real world, so to speak, right now? Yeah, you know, it, it seemed as if this job was waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Like someone, If I could have written a job description that tied together all of my capabilities and talents, mm -hmm. I couldn't have done a better job than the one I fell into. I guess Great. it it found me. Good. So the remote sensing was really key. I took a lot of remote sensing classes here okay. um, from Ann McLean in the forestry department mm -hmm. and she was just fabulous. Her classes were by far my favorites. Good. And so between that, the remote sensing, and then knowing a lot about volcanology and working in Latin America, tying those together um, really just really well prepared me for this job. Good. So how did you like your environment here at Michigan Tech as far as the weather? I know, well, we all know we get a lot of <laughs> snow, but how did you compensate for all the snowy weather we had here? Well, I just, I loved it. I learned to ski. I never lived in an environment where there was snow on the ground year-round. Okay, so I, was that downhill skiing or cross-country cross skiing? Cross-country skiing. I okay. didn't quite have it in me to take up downhill skiing. 
<clears throat> but I, I really like getting out there. I got some snowshoes, went on some adventures. I mean, I, I really enjoyed shoveling snow, <laughs> which is kind of <laughs> We had a lot of important. practice doing some shoveling. Yeah. There you go. You should be an expert at it by now. Yeah. Then. <laughs> Good. <laughs> There's some technique involved. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I adjusted really well to this environment. Good. Good. So, um, looking to the future now, where do you see yourself in uh, maybe five or ten years? Is there a PhD degree maybe in your future, or is there another line of work you'd like to go into? What, what do you see yourself? Well, I'm pretty pleased uh, working in the geothermal industry right now. It's it's not the same as working in a research environment and working on active volcanoes, mm -hmm. working on sort of middle-aged volcanoes. Mm -hmm. But I could see my I see myself working in this industry for the next. Say five, at least five years. Great. You know, take advantage of all those senior people who are just hovering around, dying to train up young folks like myself. Sounds so, good. So I don't know. After that, I need a pretty good reason to go back and get a PhD. But well, I don't know. In five or ten years, we really hope that you're going to come back and visit us. And thanks so much for coming to see us again. Oh, it's tech. been a fun visit. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.